after years of being shallow and unreasonable, we have finally got over our dislike for the Zoom Notes user interface, which is why this video is a beginner's guide on how to get started with Zoom Notes. Hey guys, it's Rob Seepak with Paperless X, a channel that is dedicated to helping you discover the best apps for your business, education, productivity, creativity, and lifestyle. Zoom Notes is a note-taking app that is available on iPad OS and Mac OS, and it costs $7.99 on each of these platforms. These purchases are a one-time purchase, and so far, we haven't paid for any updates. This application has the worst user interface of any functional note-taking app we have seen. With all the amazing features this app packs, how hard could it be to just improve the icons in the application? Because we couldn't understand this, we contacted the developers behind Zoom Notes and they have informed us that they're working on improving the user interface. Creating notes in this app is a lot of fun because Zoom Notes has a lot of capabilities most applications can only dream of. To get started, we will create a new document in the app by tapping the plus icon on the top left corner of the home page in the application. You can create document from scratch, which is what we'll be doing in a moment. Import document from a number of places, photos, iTunes, cloud services, clipboard and files. Scan document from camera, create folder. When you choose to create document, you can select page template already available in the application, or you can customize your page by tapping the custom icon. You can then name your document, turn on the cover for your notebook, and you can determine its color and the text area. Turn on Digital Planner if you want to create a digital planner in the application, and this we will cover in a separate video. You can customize your page template by choosing its size. You can have A4, US letter, or custom. For your custom page template, you can choose the dimensions of the page's width and height. On this iPad, the measurement is set to millimeters, but you can easily switch them to inches or points. Points are not a very intuitive unit for measuring page sizes. We've encountered millimeters, inches, and pixels, but never points before. This is very interesting. You can also set size to match screen, and that's a very useful feature for the iPad Pro 12.9 inch because that roughly has the screen size of an A4 paper. A lot of people can relate to that. Padding is supposed to add some space around your page, but adjusting it doesn't make any visible changes to your page. There's definitely another setting you need to tamper with for you to actually see how this works. But this is just a beginner's guide, so we're going to keep it simple. You can determine your page orientation, portrait, or landscape. You can add rounded corners for your page. You get to decide the radius for your corners. You can pick a paper color, and Zoom Notes has many systems for picking your colors. These are all very interesting ways to pick a color, but the easiest and simplest way is using a hex code, but the application doesn't have that. You can choose the surrounds color. Surrounds color is the color for your canvas. Line color, and you have the same color options for those too. Margin color, you can choose a margin color in Zoom Notes. A margin is only available for lined paper, and we've spoken to the developer, they are adding margins to squared paper as well. It's coming soon. You can choose a page style, which is your template. It could be blank, lined, squared, music, isometric, and graph. For each of these, you can choose line weight, which makes your lines lighter or darker. You can turn on dots if you want a dotted paper template. Line spacing can be wide, medium, narrow, or custom if you don't like the presets already saved in the application. You can turn on infinite whiteboard mode to have an infinite page to write on, and you can turn on show vertical markers to mark the width of the page. This is not very useful considering that it only adds vertical lines in the middle of the infinite canvas. Horizontal markers are necessary if the app is going to mark finite pages of the infinite canvas. 
Liquid Text does this very well. When you're satisfied with your page options, create your new document. ZoomNotes lets you create the exact notebook you want. Everything in your notebook is customizable and that's very impressive. Your pages are superimposed on a canvas in Zoom Notes, and that gives you the ability to rotate your pages and move them around as though you are moving a piece of paper on a desk. It is also very easy to zoom in and out of your pages. This means you can't navigate through your pages by swiping because that moves the page around. You can move through pages using this next page and previous page icon. Just like your page customization, almost everything in the app's user interface is customizable. You can change the colors, icon sizes. You can also customize the icons on your toolbars. You can change their order, their location. This app is so complex, but you can simplify it as much as you want. It caters for both minimalists and those that are not. It is important you understand how dynamic this user interface is because unlike other apps like GoodNotes and Notability, in Zoom Notes, the features on this iPad and the features on your iPad might be located in different places. The app doesn't have a reset button to just put everything back the way it was originally. That would have made both our lives easier. Zoom Notes has five pen tools, Draft, Felt Tip, Italic, Gel, and Nib. It also has a pencil, highlighter, and watercolor in the same toolset. For these pens, you can style, customize, and save favorites. Under style, you can change the thickness of your pen by swiping to the right or left of the pen stroke. You can also choose a color for your pen. This style section is for quick customization. For more detailed customization options, go to customize if you prefer calibrated pen thicknesses. You can also change the opacity of your pen. Each pen tool has something unique about it, which you can adjust in your customized settings. Your draft and felt pen can be dashed. You can adjust the nib angle of your italic pen. Despite having five pen tools to choose from, finding a pen tool that works for me in Zoom Notes has been very difficult over the past few years. Many hours have I spent as a human playing with the pens in Zoom Notes. But hey, that has changed. Because Zoom Notes has kept improving their pen tools and adding features to their pen tools, I can now enjoy writing in Zoom Notes. The draft pen looks like a ballpoint. It helps to stick to familiar terms. The felt pen looks like a fading ballpoint pen. None of us in the studio like this look. Can any of you guys think of a way to use this pen tool? Do tell. The italic pen is a calligraphy pen. And the knit pen has a fountain pen option that you can turn on. For your pencil tool, you can adjust the thickness and opacity of your pencil. You can also make your pencil lid hard, which makes it lighter, or soft, which makes it darker. Zoom Notes is the first note taking app we have encountered with watercolors. When using a watercolor, each time you lift off your Apple Pencil from the screen after drawing or writing something, the stroke glitches. This is the best description we can give for this. When writing a lot of things, when writing sentences, it's a bit annoying. But as far as the look is concerned, this looks like a watercolor and it behaves like a watercolor. After you finish customizing your pencil tool, you can save it to your favorites. This get added to your side toolbar here at the bottom for easy access. You can quickly adjust the opacity, thickness, and color of your pen tool on this quick access toolbar if you dock it there. You can even create favorite tools for different purposes and group them for those purposes. So you can have favorite pens for creating final notes, rough notes, drafts, that sort of thing. The handwriting experience in Zoom Notes is great. The app has no lag as you'd expect from such a sophisticated note-taking app. 
palm rejection is perfect and we love it. The highlighter can either go behind or in front of your text. You decide that in the settings of the application. You can adjust the thickness of your highlighter, its opacity, and make the end squared. Even at maximum opacity, the highlighter does not dim the ink in your notes. Though for a split second, it seems like it does. Zoom Notes does not support multiple instances, but I doubt you'd be missing them with all the multitasking capabilities you get in the application. Zoom Notes supports multiple tabs. The cool thing about multiple tabs in the application, the app remembers the tool you are using in each tab. So you could be using a highlighter in one tab, a pencil in another, and a pink pen in a different tab. And the app will remember which tool you are using in each of these tabs. Say what? You can also split view your screen within the application. You have vertical split view and horizontal split view. You can change the split view ratio to anything you like. Unfortunately, split view removes your document tabs. So when split viewing in Zoom Notes, you're only limited to two documents at a time. But when you get out of the split view, your tabs are still there for you. You can switch back and forth from the split view to multiple tabs. Zoom Notes is a very complex app, one we can't cover in one video, certainly not. Against Zoom Notes, all the other note-taking apps combined look like a joke, which makes it the ultimate note-taking app. Zoom Notes is definitely the app that rules them all which is why we are working on a comprehensive course for this application. But at the same time, we will be covering different aspects of the application slowly but surely. We will cover Zoom Notes on this channel in stages. If you're using Zoom Notes as your main note-taking app, please share your experiences in the comment section down below. Let others know what you love about Zoom Notes. Thank you, fantastic one, for watching. See you in the next video.